tonight, huh? I said we outside tonight. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Guess who joined us? Here with Kyra. Hi. I don't know. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Freezing our asses up. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, 
Um, it's like bookkeeping, income streams, expenses, all that good stuff. So that's in like a couple of minutes. But I wanted to show you guys what I got from Whole Foods. I didn't do grocery shopping yet, but I did get enough for lunch and dinner. What I got was this stuff is good. Cooked or uncooked. Sweet potatoes. Bananas for my smoothie. Tuna, because I make a tuna sandwich. Chips for my tuna sandwich. Salmon. Seedless grapes. Oh, today marks my day. Today marks my 30 day, the completion of my 30 day fast. No alcohol, no red meat. And you know, I'm so proud of myself because I thought that that was gonna be like harder than what it really was. Oh, no hookah, no none of that. I just been doing so good and it was so easy. So I think I'm gonna like keep it going. Um, obviously not, it's not gonna be part of my next fast, but I'm gonna, definitely be cautious of like how much I consume, what, when, where, why, you know, all that good stuff. But um, yeah, it is, oh, what, 11.54? So I'm about to go ahead and put this stuff away. I'm gonna wait to make my lunch till after this little meeting. I'll probably let y'all hear um, a little bit of it and that just be that. and no one started their meeting I feel some type of way I am a full-time content creator and hairstylist um, the content that I create is lifestyle content beauty content things of that nature and yeah that's what I do do you have a specialty hair you work with um, weaves and extensions mainly um, right now because I want them so bad I already signed up I have my account I just didn't get a chance to really explore the website you pull it up and actually you can share your screen and I can kind of walk you through one by one the first thing that needs to happen to make everything work is to connect your bank account and I assume before you had this you were uh, before this existed you were probably doing this on Excel who no so <laughs> oh, no. no so I I'm getting my life together. No, I've been creating like sheets on Canva and trying to keep yeah. ex track of my expenses, like my income and what I've been spending. And I, but I've recently started doing that, so don't judge me. No, I'm not judging you. This is why this exists because I have run several businesses, uh -huh. including businesses, and fucked it up so many times royally <laughs> that like this is the way forward. Let's just make it easy. Yeah. I, well, does does Drippy help you, um, I guess, like, pay yourself? Oh, not yet, no, but that's yet. really interesting, and I can actually talk to you a little bit about that. Okay. I wouldn't take my word as law, but <laughs> what I can do is offer you a little bit of advice. Okay. This and when you say taxable, like, if I accept the gift, then I have to pay taxes on it? Yeah, usually, oh, if it's over okay. $25. Okay. Uh, Wait, if it's over what? 25, I think. Dollars? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Until he noticed. So, and I wouldn't sweat it too much. It's mm -hmm. when it starts getting really high. So, like, someone gives you something like $10,000 worth of stuff. Yeah. They'll actually send you a 1099. Yeah. And then you get taxes on that $10,000. And wouldn't you rather just have $10,000 in your pocket? Yeah. Okay. So, that went great. Um,. That went really good. Now I know I really need to get me a CPA because um, your, your Kendra needs some help. But I didn't know I made that much on my own. I didn't know I made that much in here. Hold on now. Oh yeah. I have bananas and blueberries and grapes, peanut butter, honey, almond milk, all that stuff. Cause you say something about smoothie yesterday. Watermelon lime, I think she did. 
Literally just got finished roller setting my hair. And um what was I about to say? I'm so mad that it just came out. But I just got finished roller setting my hair. I like to use this perfect medium hold spray. This is level 13 by Kenra. I like to do that. I like to spray this while my hair is in the rollers. And then once I take it down, I use the um, volume spray. I basically put my hair down and then I spray the volume spray on here because I really love volume. You guys know that when you apply tape-ins, the tape-ins be like flat because it's like extremely like natural. It'll be like flat. And I like my hair to be looking like and voluptuous and stuff so yeah um today is going to be a really good day it was supposed to be like my reset day um of me just like cleaning up decluttering and like you know replacing like sheets and pillows and shower curtains and just all that good stuff but my plans got a little bit of changed a little a lot of bit of changed actually because um someone had reached out to me and she wants to get insult today so i'm basically waiting for her to hit me up and tell me when she's like 15 minutes out from the area because your child, your kid is not going to turn around on one yet, okay? But, um, yeah, Nala also has a grooming appointment. So, her groomer just texted me just now and said that he's downstairs. He's coming to pick her up, give her a bath, give her a nice little haircut, and then he's going to bring her back. And Nala's going to be a refreshed look. Yes, she looks a mess. We went on a walk. Sorry. So, she definitely, like, smells, like, outside. We went to Piedmont Park. This is Nala's little before, and then she's going to come back looking so posh, okay? So posh, my dog. I just dropped Nala off downstairs, and I saw that I got a package. Why am I getting a package? I was not expecting my costume to come in until Monday, Tuesday, but it came in early. I'm so excited. I literally just ordered this because I got invited to the PLT Pretty Little Thing Halloween party on Thursday. So I was like, let me find me a quick little costume. So I thought this was cute. I'm going to be kind of like Expector Gadget. But I'm going to try to make her spooky, like a glam spooky. Like I'm going to do like some horror effects, like type of makeup, it, special effects. There we go, special effects type of makeup, is that what it's called? But anyway, um, yeah, so this is my little outfit. And I kind of want to try it on because I want to make sure that it fits. I got it in a size small, but I want to make sure it fits. Actually, it's in a small medium because it only came in extra small, small or small medium. And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'm scared that it might be too big. But if it's not too big, then that's good. But then that also lets me know that, girl, <laughs> putting on some weight there, buddy. Okay, that looks like a kick. I'm about to call my mom and ask her if I should do black tights or new tights. Black would be sexy, but then new would be sexy too. So I want to look like my legs. I want it to look like my legs are out. But then I'm like, those like sheer black tights would be really cute. Look how cute and fluffy sugar pear look. Look at Nala Bouvier. She looks so cute like that perfect little daddy bear. You did such a bomb job. Just a look at how cute and fluffy she look in her little boots. Oh, sugar pear, you look so cute, girl. a brand new day and I just came back from the beauty supply store why am I saying beauty supply store that is not that is so not true let's rewind this okay <clears throat> it's a brand new day and I just came back from the nail shop actually I've been at home all day because I had a client earlier and then I went to the nail shop to get my nails done for Halloween and I think they came out okay they didn't come out how I really wanted them to, but he admitted he was having a rough day today, which, hey, he definitely was because he took forever just to do this. And then he accidentally, you know, like the spray gun that they be using to do like the ombre effect these days. He accidentally sprayed acetone in my eye. So that's why I'm walking around here with like one. I had to pull all those. Um, clusters off my eyes because my eye was burning so bad. I had to clean my eye, I had to wash my eye out, everything. So he's talking about some. Oh, I'm just gonna charge you for the fill. I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna charge you for the design. Da 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 da. Why my tab total can still came up to sixty five dollars. I'm like sixty five dollars, mind you. It was just the fill. None of my nails were broken or nothing. And then these, this design, which I think is like super simple. But my total still came up to sixty five dollars. 
and me not even realizing that it came with $65, I still tipped him and the tip was like $13. So in total, I paid $78 for nails and acetone in my eye and sitting in a chair for damn near two and a half hours for peeling. So yeah, that was my day today, but I'm not gonna let that ruin my day. I'm about to, I don't know why the color of my vlog is like this. It looks like blue. I don't like blue, we like neutral. I'm gonna have to play around because maybe I messed something up. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and shower, um, wash my hair, because I have to do my hair. I'm trying to figure out if I want to wear a hat tonight with my costume. I'm going to a Pretty Little Things Halloween mansion party tonight, which I'm like super excited about. So I got a cute little costume going on. Hopefully we got some strips in here. Crossing fingers. I cannot wait to move and to get a bigger place because I need more space. My closet needs more space. Oh, I got these. I'm gonna just wear these tonight. These are like crazy, but that's perfect because it's Halloween. And then I'll just do my lashes tomorrow. Yeah. I also have these. These are kind of crazy. Hmm. Either or, actually. Let me put them both out. Okay, okay. I'm like, what was that? Have a cool. Figure it out. That makes it seem like I'm telling you my problem, but I'm not asking you for any help. And the fact that you... I ain't for you to help, guys.
batteries. This ain't white. recording the way I need to be recording and I ain't been editing at all so any of the clips you probably saw could have possibly been just be like lost files b-rolls I don't know but today is a brand new day if it's not the first day it's a brand new day and I just got finished washing my tape ins about like a good 45 to 50 percent of them fell out so I'm gonna straighten them and see what it looks like see what my hair look like and then go from there um, but I've had them in for about like three, three, three weeks now, three, four weeks, maybe. I don't know. But where'd you go? Take your head off in the house. Just got in the house. Brandy went and got us some tacos. He got us. He went to Bar Taco while I was um, shampooing my hair and stuff. And he got us a whole bunch of tacos. He got some chicken tacos, some ribeye, and some whatever that is. You know, damn well, I'll eat pork one. And two, I've been on a cleanse from red meat. I only had red meat one day, and that was his birthday. But I eat one. Nope. Nope, I'm eat one. Then he got some more chicken, and then he got some tuna. He know damn well. He know damn well. I only eat my own tuna. I had no. I don't idea. eat tuna from restaurants because they give you tuna that look like this. I had no idea. I was not Caucasian. I don't eat raw tuna. Okay. And then he got us some. Is this fish? That's yeah. That's that's fish. That's exciting. I'm ready to try that. And I was joking about the Caucasian part. I, I know a lot of us bougie black folks love. Raw tuna, okay. I was waiting you to fix yourself. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm about. We're about to. We're about to eat. Actually, well, the light's not good over there, but we're about to eat. And then I'm gonna finish doing my hair. And then we're actually. It's Halloween, by the way, and we're gonna go to haunted house. Whoop, whoop. Yes, we are. So exciting. I don't want attention. Not I don't want attention, but she's been a bad girl. That girl urinated on my couch. Yeah. True. Yeah, you already know. True. You already know what's good. Go sit down. <laughs> Go sit down. That's so sad. Go sit down. Oh, Look at that. Oh, that's so sad. Bad girl. Well, why are you playing? I'm about to wash my hands. My lips look so crazy. It's okay, because we're about to do a real good transformation. I'm about to, I look like this now, but I'm about to look like a whole shit. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, buddy. Happy birthday. It's the party. It's going to set on fire. But that was cute. All right? <laughs> it's trying. Shit. <laughs> Grandpa. Oh shit! I was just, you know, I was trying to, you know, be be pleasing to what you had going on. Two. Shut the fuck the police! Yeah, motherfucking buddy, bitch. Yeah. Talk that shit, bitch. Is it okay? Why do you feel like you can do anything? Exactly what woman? I just said. Because this, that's just us. Because that's what she we've gonna been, meet you halfway. That's what we've been Right through. at 
the borderline is where she gone away. We've done, literally done all for of you. That. We've literally done all of that already. Night and day. Like it wasn't always just this. Put her heart to the limit, and this is what she's for. She can't go any further than this. No, no, no. You know a white bitch not gonna meet you halfway. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but for real. That's but like, I'm going to tell you this. Tired of meeting halfway. They want to sit on the throne just like white bitches. They want to live soft lives. They tired of trying to prove themselves to the world and our men. I'm just talking shit. But it's the truth. Yeah, Tyler's having having to prove themselves to like overly exert and prove themselves to black men and the rest of the world because like like you know I don't have to just compare because it's nothing to motherfucking compare. But when it comes to other races and stuff, other races of women, women, we're just talking about women because we're just talking about women. Women don't have to overexert and overprove themselves to deem worthy. That can be exhausting, and I can see why a lot of black women kind of come off as like you know aggressive and like it, it, tired and exhausted because maybe sometimes I have to, have to like they have to overexert themselves to prove themselves worthy because that's how I ten I'm my my ratio is wrong I'm just being it's not yeah, you're, you're talking to but general. nine times out of ten like black women don't want to date other men they want to date black men but nine times out of ten or I say six times out of ten black men don't want them and they have to over over exert themselves and over prove themselves to be worthy of being their wife and being their being their wife in the same light as any other race because you know I feel like it, not I feel like but in in a lot of cases like even having conversations with other black men you know young and old actually um, being told and visually seeing when it comes to black women we always have to just do the most we have to meet them halfway we have to be the best we have to look the best you know but when it comes to the other women they don't have to look that great they don't have to meet them halfway they just have to be in their family you know what I'm saying I think black women don't really get that luxury yeah. I don't see that. and that's exhausting I can see that I mean it's a good point that you brought that up because I know I ain't doing it We have to do the same thing for y'all now. Not for not it maybe it's hard, not as much as like how no, but you You feel like black men have to overexert themselves compared to other races. As far as when it comes to like black women nine times out of ten only wants to be with a black man. And black women wants the same or even better, not even the same, but the better dynamic of other races relationships. Like why like why can't she be that soft feminine women woman and you know like and and be with a, a man who wants to protect provide and to whatever just like any other cultural relationship is it's like a woman has like the black woman has to has to be that and more and it's kind of like i don't feel like with black men in regards to relationship that she expects more than what he's generally supposed to do Anyways, I don't think she expects more of him. She expects, I think, honestly, just the the basics of what a black man is supposed to provide. And, and if he slacks, he slacks. It's just the 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 the, 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 simp, the comparing. We're comparing, yeah. and not even comparing, but just like the protect, the provide, the leadership, the 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 confidence, the all of the above. That a lot of times. You know, I don't feel like. I think what we need to do, because I've heard so many stories about it. Maybe you have to, but I'm talking about from some of like, I got I got a really good home in my back home, and he's been to a bunch of different countries. I've talked to a few different people that you know when I was in Hawaii. And we're talking about Black Americans, yes, because because uh, Black people in other countries countries are not the same. No, he's from here. He's from. We need to fix what's going on in our country right now when it comes to black America. I think social media has a lot to do with it. Uh, It's not just social media. Before social media even count, before social media even came about, it was like this. What I'm saying is, it is that, like, there's, it's so, it's so much, it made things so much worse, is what I'm talking about. Like, honestly.
understand that there was an issue before where, you know, even like I said, even when it comes to music, fuck bitches get money. Like that ideology, you literally have men that literally run around here and don't give a fuck about men, or not, with, or not men, but you know, our women and just, they just do whatever. Like they don't care. Like they gonna take care of their homie that just did some dirty ass shit to him last week. You know what I'm saying? But then they girl, they do something, they just made them mad, man, fuck that whole blah, 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 blah. And they literally like push that envelope. Like they don't, they don't care about women in the same respect just because of that type of ideology with the envelope that's being put. And you know, I'm not even gonna talk about that. Let's get it cool. But the envelopes of what the the agenda in the world, we have to pay attention to that. We have to. Because that's the not not we have to pay attention to the agenda because that's you know but well, I say, do we but, have it, to pay attention but it but you but you have to understand that there is an agenda. It's not me versus you, but it's definitely us versus that is what I'm getting at. We get that. You have to understand that there is an agenda. You we can't just that. say that there is no no. No it's one not said that. that. Uh-uh. But there is we, it is a we we have to be against the agenda, and that's where the problem is. Because like you just said, we didn't wake up and just say. Know, fuck black women or fuck black men or because that's not really a thing either i feel like but just to where there's a problem with not a problem but yeah there's a problem with you know all right well if i'm gonna marry a black woman or not or you know whatever case like that that's ridiculous like mm-mm. there's 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 a we have to figure that out and understand that like i said that there is an agenda and then how are we gonna fix it Social media, television, music, we listen to all that stuff. I understand that that stuff is subjective and you have the option to pick and choose what you're going to do and all the rest of that stuff. But unfortunately, it does start there. And then, like, then you look within yourself. Well, you have to understand that that's an issue. And then you look within yourself and understand what we are as african Americans. You know what I'm saying, and that's why, I, and, and that's why I said it like that. And that's why I said it like that. We have to understand what we are as African Americans to truly understand what it is that we want and we need as a culture, as a unit, and then go from there. It has to be us versus the problem, not we see what the problem is and then just continue to say. Well, you're the problem this day. Or you're you're whatever. You're not what I need you to be as a black woman. Or oh, you're not what I need you to be as a black man. I F R E E but nigga breathe. I ain't got bread by the butt nigga breathe. It can't be that way. Who joined us? Kyra, I don't know how she's getting here. In time. We're gonna have a good ass time. We came all the way to Stone Mountain, which was like, well, actually, it wasn't that far. It was like 25, 30 minutes away. 30 minutes away? It's 8 30 now. 30 minutes. Was it Huh? So hopefully, we have a good time because our tickets were good until 8 30 and it's 8 28. Maybe we need a bum rush the crowd. Wanna do that? Wanna bum rush the crowd? Bum rush the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what time is it? 829. I, I can't see them being like, oh, you're three minutes too late. Like, that's crazy. Okay. The line's gonna be right there. Like, as soon as we get up here, it's gonna be right there. Okay. So we should be good. Say hi. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Freezing our asses up. Hi. <laughs> Not the smart fingers. <laughs> we went through Haunted House 1, which was okay. I don't think that I'm just, I don't, it takes a lot to scare me. And I feel like I got scared one good time. But we're about to go through haunted house number two. So <laughs> let's see what it gets. Because it wasn't given. It wasn't given what it needed to get. It was? I was scared at all. Well, because you wanted to touch every goddamn thing. I was scared. You wanted to touch everything. Greetings, my kindreds. It is a brand new 
today and I'm about to run out. I'm about to go to an apartment tour actually. I fell in love, or I think I fell in love with this apartment building. So I'm about to go do a tour and then I'm gonna um, stop by like one of the restaurants nearby and get some editing done. And then we're gonna hit the gym later. So yeah, we got like a full little um, evening, afternoon, evening ahead of us. It's currently three o'clock right now. And um, yeah, let's go. Yes, thank you. Oh yeah, well thank you for staying. We only wait five minutes. Yeah. 